Hey, 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 we bring you greetings from New Beginners Church. We're a small church with a big heart where everybody's somebody and we all are one big happy family. Listen, y'all, me and me and Josh Davis, I'm going to call his name. We was talking earlier and I, he, we was talking about forgiving people and all this good stuff, right? And this is what I told him. I said, sometimes, oh, he said, he said, sometimes we are giving folks the keys to kill us. We are giving the people the keys to murder us is what he said. I was like, wow, that is so powerful. Sometimes, sometimes what is happening is God has told us to cut certain folks off, but we are allowing them to stay around. And then once it's too late, a lot of women are staying in relationships. You know, he's abusive, not only physically, but he's talking abusive. And eventually you stay around too late and you have given him the keys to do what he did to you. What I'm telling you is a lot of us need to cut some of these so-called friends off, some of these so-called people who say that they are with us when we know they're really not with us. God is saying, is a lot of us are giving our betrayer y'all ain't with me hold on hold on hold on let me help you let me help you this is what happened to david david was sleeping with Bathsheba and, and Uriah, he called Uriah back home and Uriah got him drunk and made it. Uriah said, nope, nope, nope. I am, I'm, I'm, we at war. I'm not going here to sleep with my wife. This is not a time for this kind of stuff. So what David is, David writes a letter and gives Uriah the letter and tell him to give it back to the general or to the, the, the man that's in command. The man opens the letter. He opens the letter and he see that David, the king tells him to get Uriah in one of the hottest, hottest battles or one of the, one of the most intense battles and pull back. So and Uriah didn't even know that he was carrying his death certificate. A lot of y'all are putting your trust in all of the wrong people. A lot of you putting your trust in your husbands and putting your trust in your wives and putting your trust in your A1 since day one. And those folks don't mean you no good. And a lot of you, what you are doing is you are allowing those people who say that they are with you, who you know have never been with you to be the ones that put a knife in your back, to be the ones that split your throat. This is what I told him. I said, Josh, I got to give it to you. You are more saved than me because I cut folks off and you dead to me. I'm not coming to your funeral. I'm not going to play like we friends. And I pray that you do the same. I don't understand it. But listen, when I, when, 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 when people betray me, when people do me wrong, I may, I pray for you, but I'm done with you, baby. I don't have to be your friend. Listen, one thing about a snake, a snake will always be a snake, no matter what environment you put him in. Let me say that one more time. They didn't hear me. A snake will always be a snake, no matter what environment you put it in. No matter what environment you put it in, if it's a venomous snake, it's going to be a venomous snake. Whether you put him in your house, whether you put him in a cage, whether you put him outside, no matter where you put him at, he's still going to be a venomous snake. What I'm telling you, I'm not telling you not to pray for these people that have despitefully used you. But what I'm telling you is stop giving folks the keys to your whereabouts. Stop giving folks the keys to your houses and keys to your cars and keys to you where they know your every move and they are plotting against you. What I'm telling you, is a lot of people are not for you. They are against you. And they've been against you the whole time. You can hear it in the way they talk. You can hear it in the way they're walking. You can hear it in the way, what the stuff they're saying. But a lot of times you hold on to people that you know you should have cut off. Stop allowing your murderer access. Hold on. Stop allowing the person. And they, I, it don't have to be physically murder. A lot of people want to murder your job. They want to go to the boss man and talk about you on your job. A lot of people want to murder your marriage. A lot of people want to murder. See, what well, I'm not talking about just dead, dying, dying. A lot of folks want to kill stuff that's connected to you. If you're doing good at your job, they want to take the job, but they want to kill it. If you're doing good with your family, they want to take the family and kill it. Oh, you don't know Johnson. Oh, you don't know such. such. Oh, they trying to mess around. Oh, they doing this. Right. Well, God, what I'm telling you is, see, when Josh said murder... I was like, man, and I said, yeah, a lot of times you have your cousin, your brothers, your A1 since day one, I'll be the ones that's standing over you, murdering you, and a lot of times when I'm talking about murder, I'm talking about they in the courtroom, y'all ain't with me, a lot of folks will get in the courtroom and testify against you, your A1 since day one, and the joker, I want to say something else, the joker didn't, didn't like you from the beginning, and you know that he didn't like you, watch folks that you are giving the keys to your success, then they are trying to murder you on every side, watch folks who are always competing, always trying to be you. Listen, a lot of folks don't even have their own identity outside of you. They are doing what you say you want to do. They are, they are trying to beat you to you being what you want to do. See, what I'm telling you is watch people who are only there trying to murder. Everything you do, they try to do it better. Everything you say, they try to say it better. Everything you do, watch folks like that. Listen, we must learn how 
to cut people off. We must learn how to sever the cord. You know what I'm talking about? A biblical cord. You know how a biblical cord with the baby. We got to learn how to cut folks off. We got to learn how to tell people, listen, man, I, I, we, we, we good, good, but listen, we're going to be good from a distance. Nope, nope, nope. You're not coming to my house. No, we ain't friends like that no more. Listen, I done had to cut some folks out of my life and I'm going to have to cut some more because people are only there trying to be you. Listen, I don't need no competitors. You don't need no competitors. Watch your so-called friends who are only there competing against you. They listen. Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, one of my, my one of my school teachers who was a preacher now. Um, he said this right here. He said he can remember the time when he when he was wearing big nice suits. You know them nice suits. Steve Harvey collection before Steve Harvey was popular. He was wearing the Stacey Adams and the Stacey Adams suits before it was really popular. And he said one of the deacons or one of the members come up and say, Yeah, you wearing all the more big old fancy suits. You ain't no preacher got no business. Had no sense. But when he got on top. Well, you know, we all need to look nice. God don't want us looking bad. God wants us all looking nice. See, what people will do is, as long as they don't have what you got, as long as they ain't got no house, as long as they ain't got no cars, as long as they ain't got no husband, as long as they ain't got no wife, but as soon as they get what you got, that's all they talk about. My car, my house, my this, my credit, my this. I'm like, you are so pitiful. Watch people who are only talking about it once they get it. But they they won't they won't be happy for you long as you got it. But once I get it, once I get married, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Once I get a house, my house, my house. Once I get a good job, my job, my job, my job. Once I get what you got. People have been trying to kill you the whole time. They are trying to murder your marriage. They are trying to murder your cars. They are trying to murder your house. They are trying to murder at your job. People that's in your circle are not your friends. A lot of those people are only there to make sure that you are going through. They are happy to know that you're going through in your marriage. They are happy to know that your car went bad. They are happy. So watch folks that you are giving the papers to just like Uriah was trusting David. A lot of y'all are trusting some of those people that you are calling your A1 since day one and they are trying to murder you. Listen, I just had to get that out, man. I told Josh I'd call him back because it was just so good to me about how people, how we are allowing access, people access to kill us. We are giving people the access to get inside, to know our every move, to set us up. And then we are looking at them on the stand or we are looking at them as they stand over us and finish us off. We are looking at them when they are testifying against us. We are looking at them when they done took our husbands or wives. We are looking at those same people that you know you should have cut off a long time ago. A long time ago. A long time ago. Stop, uh, stop giving people access to murder you. Y'all hear me? Stop giving people access to murder you. And I ain't talking about physical. A lot of them want to do the physical thing too, but a lot of people want to murder everything that you have inside of you. They want to murder you. God bless you, man. Understand this, that sometimes you got to make the hard decisions and cut people off. God bless. I don't know if I even say it. New Beginners Church, where we're a small church with a big heart where everybody's somebody. God bless you all.